Okay, so the first program that we're going to work with is Corel Draw. I know it's kind of loud, um, but it's loud here, so I'm going to just try and talk loud, and hopefully the the sound will come through. So this is uh, this is Corel Draw, and you can see that we have an image loaded here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that you can actually see what we're dealing with, and um, here. What we have is we have a, uh, a two-part uh, piece. So one part here is a, a cut line, and it's uh, based on the thickness of the line. And then the other thing here is a two-color engraving. So the black line is going to be one level, and the yellow line is going to be a different level. So the red is going to be a cut, and the yellow and the black are going to be engraving. The thickness of the line matters, um, but it doesn't matter which program we're using. Uh, they all kind of have the same problem. So we've created this drawing inside of Corel Draw, and then to be able to print this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, we're gonna select print, and we get this, uh, we get this window that comes up. There's a couple of things that we need to make sure are there by default, but right now, all of that stuff should already be set, so we shouldn't have to change any of these. The only thing we're really gonna have to adjust is uh, the uh, print spooler, and that's underneath these settings. This is something we need to make sure is set up right every time. So in this case, we're gonna use manual color fill, and now we need to set the pen color. So we're using black, we're using red, and we're using this yellow here. So black, uh, so red is gonna be a cut. So for red, what we need to do is we need to set the power to 100. We need to set the PPI to max, and we're gonna set the repeat to five. That should give us a cut. Um, and we're gonna drop the speed down to about 30. For the, for the engraving, um, we're going to increase the, we're gonna decrease the speed here um, oh, sorry, for the, for the lines, we're gonna keep it just like this. For the yellow part, we're gonna decrease the speed here, or we could increase the power, either way, to get a deeper etching than the, uh, than the other part. So if we raise this to, say, 75, and keep everything else the same, the yellow part should etch deeper than the, the black part. But this is where you're doing all of your power and, and pen settings. Um, we don't have to worry about this part. We don't have to worry about this part because it's all preset. We don't have to worry about that. So now we have all of those saved. We can hit OK. Then we hit Apply. And then we go ahead and print. And that's going to push the job to the printer. So now we can actually run the print. I am going to stop the video and um, I'll show you an example of what comes out.